I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV. Greetings from Flagami, the Miami you don't really get to see on TV, only here. It is this vast extension to the southwest of Little Havana, which is essentially still basically Little Havana. And that's where I live. Today we are going south, just a few miles, to Homestead, Florida, the gateway to the Florida Keys. And we're going to stay at Southern Comfort RV Resort at the invitation of our friends Jim and Barb from Ohio. Well, we made it here to uh, Southern Comfort RV Resort in Homestead, Florida. And the good thing about this park is we're like a stone throw away from the Florida Keys, from Key Largo at least. It's like, what, 20 minutes, 25 minutes? Um, we're here, by the way, thanks to Jim and Barb for, uh, for inviting me. Uh, to come down here, we, we just chatted there for a while, and I'm sure we'll we'll chat again. But you know what? We are right next to the pool, so I'm gonna check out the pool real quick. Right, everybody, say hello to Jim. Oh, well, you guys can't say hello, but Jim can. All right, <laughs> we're gonna hang around, hang out here at the pool for a little bit. Here at the, we're at Southern Comfort, as I said. And, uh, yeah, it's slowly, you know, they, they, they've been. Uh, making some improvements to the park which is uh, which is nice actually Let's get in the water well you all know I like to hang out here at the at the campground pool and this one is nice um, very very it, it was actually kind of cloudy earlier but now it's a very beautiful day and uh, it's about 5.45, so in 15 minutes I'm going to do my live video on YouTube. And uh, and you'll see that, of course, now in mid-March. Mm. Say hello. Hi. Everybody sing along. I'll sing the song. Well, what do you know? The RV park has its own tiki bar. And I decided to do some karaoke because why not, right? And I'm gonna stop it right here, just in case of copyright. Good morning. Beautiful morning here in Homestead, Florida. Hear the birds sing. We are going for a little drive around town and then on to the Everglades. Downtown Homestead here and its iconic Seminole Theater. And here we are at the southern entrance to the Everglades National Park. Well, what do you know? We're back in the Everglades uh, National Park. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna check out some of the trails probably. We haven't been here in a couple of years. Here's a map of the vast park, and let me tell you, it is huge. This is only one of many ways to access the Everglades, and we haven't been to this particular visitor center in a while. The Everglades is the only national park that was not picked for its natural beauty. Instead, it was because of the biodiversity. And normally there are a bunch of gators hanging out here, but not today. Here's a mosaic map of South Florida. We are here, and we live somewhere around here. Actually, no, we are here, more or less, I guess. Anyways, let's go see the park. Well, this is the... the the Pahayoki Trail. Let's check it out. Whoa, big, 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 big bugs. Oh my gosh. Let's go quickly. Disappointingly, not too much wildlife today, except for the gigantic bugs. We continue walking around the boardwalk. 
dodging the bugs. Well, besides the besides the the blackbirds, crows, I guess they are. Uh, the only wildlife we've really seen is those ginormous bugs that look like little drones. But it's it's already kind of summer in the Everglades, so the alligators are underwater probably. Let's do another trail. This one is called the Mahogany Hammock Trail and it goes into one of these islands of vegetation in the Everglades. Well, this is pretty cool. Now let's continue all the way towards Flamingo. I do believe we have a wildlife sighting on the side of the road. I doubt it's an alligator. People wouldn't be gathered so close. Let's see what it is. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, we're scaring her away. Yeah, the poor creature looks terrified. I don't know what kind of tortoise that is, but it looks strange with that big nose. Run along, run along into the swamp. Don't let all these tourists bother you. And here we are, Flamingo. There is a visitor center here and a campground, although it is pretty remote and mosquito infested most of the year. In any case, here we are very close to the southernmost point in mainland Florida and the United States mainland as well, for that matter. Mine? As I was saying, well, considering uh, Key West is an island, technically a key, uh, this may be the actual southernmost point of the contiguous United States, if you think about it. And it's not really here. The southernmost point of mainland Florida is Cape Sable, which is like 15 miles that way. But um, yeah, this is it. And uh, I'm going to put a map here somewhere and uh, show you where we are exactly in Florida. This is Flamingo. The Flamingo campground is back there. We, might, we may or may not come back in the next few weeks and, and camp there. We'll see because it is getting awfully hot here in Florida now in uh, it is mid March and um, and when it gets hot in Florida the wild the, the, the cool wildlife goes away and then the bugs uh, come in so we may save this one for next winter we'll, we'll see we'll see anyways let's go back. Well, we're gonna eat at this place called the uh, Gator Grill. Guess what we're gonna eat? Well, of course, we're gonna eat alligator. And I've been meaning to come to this place for a very long time. I've heard so many great things about it. And it's here, outdoor sitting, very casual. And uh, here's our gator. Looks good. Well, that was really good, the, the gator fajita. I mean, it almost tastes like like chicken. <laughs> yeah, it's, it has a like a different uh, texture to it. Very nice. I recommend a little expensive for what it is, but it it looked like good quality food, and that's what's important, right? Well, I know this one was definitely shorter than usual, but it was just a quick weekend escapade. Here to the left is the popular fruit stand. Robert is here. No relation.
The next morning, we got to hang out with Jim and Barb for a little bit, and off we went. And on the next video, we're going to visit a place which requires no introduction. Stay tuned. <laughs>